Hello, and welcome to another episode of... Absolute Game Off. Nerd! And I should say, not episode, but short video uh, from the Absolute Game of Nerds. Uh, and as you can see in the title, I made a trade to start 2024. Um, and it is the first uh, comic book uh, that I have acquired in 2024. Um, I actually made this trade on New Year's Day. Obviously, this is not airing on New, New Year's Day, but quite a bit after. Um, this is not one of the books on my goal list. This is a much smaller book, but it's not a small, small book, but compared to those, I would say this is a smaller uh, book. Uh, but I made a trade. <clears throat> I want to show you uh, what I traded away and then what that uh, netted me and kind of like how it all worked out. So um, uh, the books that I traded away to make this happen, I have here. They're already gone, so I haven't been inside, so I've got pictures of them. So I have a... Marvel Premiere 28, uh, which is the first Legions of uh, Monsters. Um, I like this book a lot. It's a cool cover, especially when you hold it. Um, I got it really, really cheap for a great deal. Um, but I was able to kind of get double the value back uh, in the trade for this one. Uh, so great book to have. I'd pick it up again if I saw it for a steal again. Um, it's not something that I actively need to go get. Um, but again, if there's a steal out there to be had. I'll, I'll always take a steal kind of thing. Uh, this one, Daredevil 38, another book I just found kind of at the LCS before it closed down, super cheap. Um, again, it's not like it's worth tons, but you know, I paid five bucks for it and I think I got 25, $30 in value on the trade on it. So that was an easy one to move. Uh, this was probably the biggest book I moved. Uh, it is obviously X-Men 266, uh, in a CGC 9.4, um, first appearance of Gambit signed by Chris Claremont. Uh, why I was keen to move this book, even though I do love this book and it fits kind of what I collect and I do love the character Gambit, uh, this being his first appearance. Um, I have come to this realization that when I have these more modern books, I know this is a copper book, we'll do, but I'm going to lump that in, that you see these things in nine eights everywhere, every day. And when I have like a nine four, it would just annoy me because like my book's pretty close what, you know. I don't know really how really explain it beyond that. But so what I decided is like, I don't want to spend the money on a 9.8 for this book, right? Because I'd rather put that money towards a bigger key, you know, that's a little bit older. So what I said is I wanted to get rid of all of my slab copies of books like this, right? I also recently got rid of like my New Mutants 98. That was a 9.4 um, for the same kind of thing. That I want to just eventually find a back a raw book that looks very, very nice. You know, it doesn't need to be a 9.8. It's not going to get great. It's going to stay raw um, and just keep it as is. And uh, so I moved on from X-Men 266. This spider get in one. Uh, I think this was just a couple bucks, but I got this as a freebie. Wolverine one. Again, this is, I, this is the third time I've had this book. And as I've said, every time I've gotten it, again, happy to always grab this when I see it cheap. It's one that always has good trade value and easy to sell, easy to move, however you need to do it. Um, so Wolverine 1. Uh, Daredevil 181 also uh, moved this book. Uh, again, this was another one just like that. Daredevil 38 picked it up for, I think, five bucks. And, you know, I think I got 15 or 20 or something for it. Marvel Team Up 141. Uh, again, I love this cover. Um, personally, I know CGC now labels this as tied for first appearance of black suit. However, when it comes to the black suit, I think your two money books are ASM 252 and secret wars eight, which is the origin of a black suit. Um, so in regards to this book, I love this cover. I love this book. It's a great book to have by all means, go and get it. Um, I, I don't necessarily need it. Um, but again, I got this one. This is my second time owning this book. Again, I found it on a steal, picked it up, and I turned it for about double. Um, so <clears throat> I would do the same thing in a heartbeat. It's not a book, though, I need to keep long term. ASM one, uh, 346 of the Eric Larson covers. This one's my favorite. I actually also got this one as a freebie uh, from Chef Grundy with my Avengers 57, the first vision. Uh, because he ended up not getting it shipped out for like two weeks. And so he threw in some cool freebie. Actually, that spider get in one was also one of the freebies, um, as was this ASM 46 or 346. Um, so that was able to be moved as well to fund 
the book I got. So what did I get? Uh, this is a book I've looked at for a bit. Um, it's uh, one that I didn't want to spend a huge ton of money. And recently, Reggie Collects, who is going to be coming on the show here very recently, um, uh, had a video that he acquired it. And he said, I got a 4-0. I think he said $400. Uh, and it was raw. It was a 4-0 estimate. And I was like, man, the book has come down. It's time to try and find one. And I think that range and that price sound great. So then, of course, Mark, my guy over at Chillectables, posted it. He estimated it 4.0, I think. Maybe he was even higher. I can't remember. 4.0. His price, 365. So I was like, I immediately hit up Mark, like, hey, let's work this out. We made the deal with some books, some cash. I sold the other books, that kind of thing. So he said he's switching to just doing bronze, silver book, Bro silver age and bronze age books. So the two books of mine that I showed that he wanted was the Daredevil 38 and the Legion of Monsters. So he took those two books and then I took the other six and I sold them on Facebook within two hours, I think. Um, and I had enough money to then cover the difference between the two books I traded in the deal we made. Um, and I had 60, no, I think I had $75 left over with that. So I was net positive on the move to the book that got me detective comics, 359, right? First appearance of Barbara Gordon, AKA Batgirl. Um, I love this book. I think it's, it's got that kind of Carmen Infantino campiness. I love his Batman covers. Um, and I just think this is a spectacular book. Uh, but yeah, Mark had this uh, estimated at uh, a 4.0, I think it was, maybe 4.5, I can't remember. Um, no matter, I mean, it's going to stay raw. I have no intention to grade this. It doesn't reach my kind of floor I've set, which is fairly high for to grade into books. Again, we don't need to go into this, but like my position is I don't really care to grade books. Um, happy to get books raw if they stay raw, so be it. So this one will definitely be staying raw. But uh, yeah, this is a beauty. And I love that now this is added to the collection. Um, so Detective Comics 359. Um, on that note, though, <clears throat> again, I told you the book that I really liked that I gave away was that X-Men 266. Uh, and I wanted to find one raw that looked great. And so the moment I sold mine, I immediately hit up my guy, Dan, Dan's X-Men Comics, who has like seven of every X-Men book. So, hey, do you have any 266s available? And he said he did. Uh, and he had a price. And uh, it's already back, baby. X Men 266. Um, I don't know if you can tell very clearly on this video, right? But this X Men 266 is nicer than the one I traded away. And it, 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 probably not in terms of like getting the 9.4 because of some small, minor things, you know, maybe just a touch under that. But in terms of the color on this, this color looks way better. It's so dark and so like vibrant. I love it. Um, and this is going to stay raw. Um, <clears throat> so with the profit I made and then the money, I think Dan wanted, you know, he gave me a fair, totally fair price. On this. I think I out of pocket came out under $60 and that netted me these two books. So, um, that is a big day positive for me when it comes to the comic collecting hobby, I'll tell you. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I got for you today. Let me know what you think. Um, would love to hear comments on, on how I did, um, your thoughts on those books. Um, do you like to trade? All that kind of stuff. Like We love to hear it. Uh, but otherwise, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.